Hey guys, so this should be the last unboxing video um, for the parts to the AR-15 pistol build that I'm working on. I may do some other videos later on down the road because I do plan to get a couple of accessories and gadgets for the pistol build, but for just parts to put it together, this should cover it. So I got a couple of things here. The large package on the left is from Primary Arms. They had uh, quite a bit of parts in stock, so it's going to be a large uh, unboxing there. And then the middle one is from the subreddit gun accessories for sale. Um, I posted a willing to buy ad because I was looking for this last piece for the build and this guy had it and bought it from him. So let's start out with the smaller one. This is the one from Reddit. Open this up. This is the one thing I couldn't find in stock at any retailers. So this is the Surefire. War comp in a 5.56. Get this out for you. Looks like it included the rock set there. Oops. And let's see. The tool and shims are in there as well. Try not to lose any of that. And then we'll take a look at the flash hider itself here. Looks good. So that's the uh, flash hider that I'm going to be using. The Surefire War Comp. And he had a Warden for sale as well, but I, I'm not entirely sold on the idea of the Warden. It seems like it's just like looks like a suppressor and doesn't do a whole lot else other than direct the blast forward. Um, but, you know, I may look into it. But I may look into uh, going down the suppressor route as well since this will accept suppressors too. So, there's that. Next, let's move on to the package from Primary Arms. Set this out in front for you. And uh, for a lot of these parts, I was kind of waiting for them to come back in stock before I did a large order through Primary Arms, just so I could get the rest of it in one package so I didn't have a bunch of different stuff coming in. All right. So, for the stripped upper, uh, in my previous video, I did say I needed the upper parts kit. So there's an Aero Precision AR-15 upper parts kit there. Uh, this is the gas block I went with, Expo Arms, low profile. That's the size of the barrel journal that I have in here. Take a quick look at that. Gas blocks are kind of fairly standard looking. Not a big deal, small part there. Alright, this is a gas tube. Let's see if I can open this. This is the melanite one. And a carbine length. Melanite marked there. I mean, we bought this because it's not silver. I'm not a huge fan of the silver look for gas tubes. It's kind of a black color. I'm going to leave it in the package since the roll pin is rolling around in there. Alright. Next thing we've got, I believe this will probably be the barrel. Or, yeah, it should be the barrel, I think. So Expo Arms, 11.5 inch chrome lined barrel, and uh, I don't know a whole lot about barrels, so I kind of just asked a friend, sent him a link that, of one I was looking at, and he told me if it was good or not, and I just went off of that. Let me see if I can 
get this opened so you can take a look at it. wrapped up pretty well and uh, seems to be covered in oil so maybe I won't venture too far into it but uh, there's the barrel I think we'll leave it at that give you a closer look at some point in the future and then let's see this is the last item in here This is the BCM bolt carrier group in flat dark earth. O-ring. Set that off to the side. Let's get a look at this thing. It's also pretty oily. Uh, looks pretty nice. Big fan of like tans and flat dark earth uh, colors. So I decided to go with a bulk carrier group that was also tan or flat dark earth. And I've heard BCM bulk carrier groups are pretty nice. So I went with that. Set that back in there. And I think that is it. So, I'm gonna get to work on putting all this stuff together. And then I'll do a video later on once everything's assembled. And uh, show you what it looks like. So, there you have it. Thanks for watching.